I've got to ask you, because it's been obviously in the comments section last week, the Woodbridge game, talking about this offside. What did you think? Uh, well, I'll, I'll... I miss the talking. Man, I miss my love life. And nowadays I'm finding it harder to love life. So I'm joined here with Nathan Russell. Rusty, first of all, how delighted were you that the club achieved promotion to the Thurlow Nunn Premier Division? Do you know, it was it was awesome. I think like it was the first time the club's been here in, um, in in the history of the club, so it was absolutely fantastic for us to actually achieve that promotion after what two, three years now. Obviously, hit two years with COVID, um, and then actually being promoted and then relegated. So I think everyone is just over the moon that we're now back in well in the league where we deserve to be and where and where we where we belong really. Yeah, absolutely. And also personally for you to score in that final, you've been with the club many years. How did that feel? Because you've scored some big goals for Hull. I, th- I think it was awesome. I think from, of, yeah, I think it was just amazing. Like it, it's nice to score in big games like that. I think when you when you come uh, come back to it and you look at it and you think actually, well, look, that goal kind of helped us achieve where we kind of need to be. It was really nice, and yeah, it's just it's just lovely to help the club to get to where where it deserves to be now. So obviously, moving on to Danny Crow, the appointment of Danny Crow, which has, you know, caused some shockwaves through social media. Obviously, replacing Nicky Howell. So, of course, how has it been working under Danny in pre-season? It's 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 been, it's been awesome. It's been, it's been really good. It's been something that I think we we kind of needed um, as well to push the club even further. Um, Nicky done an excellent job, but I think obviously Crowey now coming in um, with the background that he's had, um, obviously being professional when he was younger, um, to coach in his own college program, I think he's really given us that depth that we kind of need as a squad to push us push us forward even more um, and I think the, the players that he's been able to bring in for us is, is helped loads as well so I think it's, it's been a great appointment all around for, for everyone really. So it's been a fantastic start to the season, two wins from two, how's the start of the season been and from a player's point of view what's the aspiration for this year in the Thurlow and prem I think the start of the season has been excellent, I think it's probably the best, well it is the best start that we could have hoped for. Um, six points on the board already mm. um, and I think the boys in the first game um, done amazing I think coming from 1-0 down to winning the 2-1 uh, late on and then I think the game that we had um, Saturday just gone I think everyone put a massive shift in I mean you've played your players were playing out of position a lot of the game but everyone done their done their job worked really hard got the three points on the board um, and I think the aspiration for this year is, is just I think it's just finish as high as we can um, I think if we can make top top six I think that's excellent for us so yeah I think as high as we can is awesome so I'm joined with Connor Delaney who's pretty much been a mainstay here since 2015 Connor first of all how delighted for somebody that's seen the club play from the Anglin Comp Premier Division now to the Thurlow Nunn Premier Division how's that been I think it's amazing like the way that the club's come from where it's gone but I think like people look, look at the football side of it and I think the football side is probably the easy part of it. Yeah. I think the stuff behind the scenes has been the hard part of it. I mean, with any local football team, you're always going to get good players. And, but the people behind the scenes to get this far is where the real hard work is. The football is the easy part of it. So I'm delighted for them more than anyone else. Yeah, because obviously as somebody that's been a part of it, you've... Well, it comes on to my next question, really. You've obviously worked under quite a few managers here. Of course, you worked under Gus and Ollie when we won the Sterry Cup and the Murray Cup back in eighteen. And then in 19, you won the Thurlow Nunn First Division Knockout Cup. But obviously, now Danny Crow is here. Obviously, worked with Nicky Howe. Can't not mention Nicky Howe. But now here with Danny Crow. Obviously, how's it been working under Danny? I think Danny and his team bring a massively different dynamic to the organisation. And the finer details are massive. Like, the where we, like the first two games prove that. We won two games in two different ways, and that in by fluke. That's down to preparation. Fitness, everything we've done in pre-season, and I think they took it to another level. Mm. From what I've seen before, previous managers, what they've done so far, it took it to an absolute another level, and everything they've done has been. Ma- I'm massively impressed, but shocked at the same time. But at points, like, like, yeah. but they demand a lot, and it's impressive, and the boys reacted to it as well, yeah, which is absolutely. huge. And yeah. 
definitely. It's only going one way, so yeah, yeah, massive. definitely. And obviously, for someone like yourself, you're quite versatile. Obviously, you can play either wing, you can play either full back, even play in sort of a number ten. But for you personally, this season, is it about nailing a position down, or is it just doing whatever Danny and the coaching staff need? I think for me, I just want to play as much as I can, whether and whatever's asked me, I'll do. And that is the way I've always been. Obviously, there's positions I prefer to play and I'm more comfortable in. Mm. If I'm playing and we're winning, uh, everything else can go out the window as far as I'm concerned. So I'm joined by Danny Crow. Obviously, last time we spoke was when we unveiled you as the new Halston manager. How have you settled in, mate? How have you settled in? Yeah, I think it's gone really well. Um, been here now six weeks. I think it is around that time. It feels a bit longer than that. It's um, it's a new role for myself. It's one I'm thoroughly enjoying. The lads are brilliant. The coaching staff have inherited, and the ones I brought in have, have done a fantastic job. It's uh, it's a good club to be at. Um, we've got lots of volunteers here, and I'm just I'm really really happy. Really enjoying it, and I'm proud to be like leading everyone. So we touched on obviously with the players, and you talked about how much you were looking forward to working with them. How impressed have you been with their application over pre-season? Yeah, I think it's been a learning curve for myself. I think meeting all the boys have got fantastic attitudes. I think um, it's been very difficult in the sense of, you know, every, everyone has a life, everyone's working hard and we haven't really had anyone fully, like a full training session where everyone's there yet, yeah. um, which I understand and it's something that I've come to terms with and I'm more than happy to look after the boys. You know, certain players that work on shift, I've got holidays booked, things like that. So. In that way, I think I've had to adapt myself and my sort of um, expectations almost. And the boys have been absolutely brilliant. From the, from the very first training session, they had a lot of running. I think after the first run, they said, this is all, that's the hardest run they've done in years. Mm -hmm. So just little things like that, I think changing the mentalities in the sense of the training applications, not the match, not necessarily the match day, because they're doing fantastic on the pitch at the minute. I know it's another question, but the just the application and the dedication to get here to training is something that I'm really proud of them about and same as myself you know we're all, we're all in this yeah. sort of we're in this league to try and achieve something absolutely you know? yeah. and goes on to my next question obviously the players that you've inherited but also the players that you've signed Charlie Hitch Laggy Sivakuba yeah. Nell Lemos yeah. Henry Arnold yeah. Rob Turner yeah. and Harry Sutton well remembered how have they settled into the club? They've done really well. Um, I think three or four of them are like youngsters, the young lads who, um, for the squad, what we want to try to do is we tried to get a squad of 18 um, and we wanted three or four of them to be young lads who are more than capable of playing at this level. Um, and they're here, they know they're coming here to potentially start on the squad, be on the bench, maybe not on the bench, but they're here to like, they're good enough to play in games and they're here to take people places. You know, um, Harry's done really well. Uh, the goalkeeper, he's only conceded one goal. Uh, still got a lot to learn as well, but he's done well. And Rob and Charlie Hitch have come in there straight away. They're, they're starting and um, the training sessions, their standards they've set. Uh, it's been good. Charlie obviously was injured for the last game Saturday against Woodbridge, but Rob, Rob's been brilliant in the last two games and all the lads have sort of um, can't believe that he's playing at Skull. That's no disrespect to playing for Skull, but they're two leagues lower. Um, he's a fantastic player, he's someone that we're all delighted to have on board. So, all the lads have done well, they've adjusted to the club, they love the club already. Um, they can see like the, the environment created, and yeah, good signings. Yeah, I mean, it probably takes it on to the next, uh, the next question that obviously, the start of the season, we won in dramatic style, typical Halston style, yeah. away at Brantford Athletic, and most recently here against Woodbridge. How impressed have you been with the start of the season? I think there have been two different games, to be honest. I think against Brantford. I thought we dominated. I thought we dominated, and we we, we won two one. I know we scored a last minute uh, last minute winner, mm -hmm. but I felt that was a performance there that we've been building on for pre season. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're just lacking the goals. I think we had two ruled out for offside. Um, so Brantford was a fantastic performance, and then here against Woodbridge we won one nil. And first half I thought we was probably the better team, but second half, if I'm honest, I thought Wood Woodbridge were very good, and I think we was lucky to come away with anything. Yeah. Um, so. What it shows me is we can play really well and win a game mm. and then we can also battle, we can work really, really hard to, you know, when we're up against it and we was up against it, for, especially for the last 20 minutes. So yeah. the lads, it shows me what their attitude is about. Yeah, definitely. And also it's, it's, it's the fact that who we've had missing as well and we've got players still to come back. Yeah. I've got to ask you, because it's been obviously in the comments section last week, the Woodbridge game, mm. talking about this offside. Mm. What did you think? Uh, well... I've, I've, we've watched it back and I think the beauty of it this year we've got VO so at the time I thought I didn't really know what the linesman had seen um, because obviously I knew it was like a second phase so the ball's come across and it's got 
then gone back into the middle of, of, of the 18 yard box yeah. and I was thinking I don't understand who was offside after watching the video back I think it's quite clear to see that their big number nine was in the yeah. way of Harry Sutton in an offside position yeah. and the Lions was made a great call yeah yeah, I think he made a brilliant call, actually. It's the best call of the season, personally. But obviously, thanks again for catching up with us, Danny, and uh, we'll see you soon.